XTM is supported by one of the following browsers, Firefox 2.0 or higher and Internet Explorer 6 or higher. In order to maximize efficiency, we recommend you to use Firefox. Furthermore, you need to ensure that pop-ups in JavaScript are enabled. To do this, go to the Tools menu and click on Options, then go to the Content tab. You don't want to enable all pop-ups, but just the ones generated by the XTM interface. Make sure the Block Pop-up Windows option is enabled and click on Exceptions. Write the address of the XTM interface, cat.secure-translations.com, and click on Allow. Then click on Close. Also, make sure the Enable Java option is enabled. In the address bar, write the link to the XTM interface, cat.secure-translations.com. Then, enter your login details and click Login. If you forgot your password, you can click on the Reset button or contact the project manager to retrieve it. The XTM interface will open in a separate window. In the Configuration menu, you can personalize settings such as the interface language and translation options, populate target with source, automatically changing status, font name, size and weight. You can also change your password from the User Settings submenu. Make sure you click on the Save button after making any changes. In My Inbox, you can see all your new tasks, in progress tasks, and closed tasks. If you right click the green arrow next to Translate Tasks, you can download the reference material and download all source files. These options refer to all your in progress translation tasks. There are also three buttons on the left side of each task. The first one, the black arrow, if right-click allows you to open a translation editor, open terminology, show metrics or word count, finish task and decline task. The green arrow button on the left side of the task allows you to download reference material if there is any, download source file and prepare the bilingual XLIF file and download it. This option can be chosen if you want to translate the document using Swordfish or any other XLIF editor. However, we recommend you to use the XTM translation editor in order to have access to the terminology and translation memory. The blue arrow button allows you to upload the translated XLIF file. By clicking on the task name or on the black arrow button, you will open the translation editor. XTM removes all formatting and splits the text into segments in order to make the translation process easier and more efficient. The source and target segments are shown in a table-like view with three columns, segment number, source text and translated text. Before translation, the target segments can contain the source text, recommended, or can be empty. You can change this from the Configuration Translation menu. In order to make it easier to translate, the segments have been grouped in pages of 10 segments each. You can navigate between the pages using the buttons on the bottom right side of the screen. You can also type in the segment number to go to a particular segment. There are two sets of buttons, one on the left side of the screen and another one on the right side of the screen. The ones on the left are options applicable to all the segments on the page, while the ones on the right apply to the current segment alone. The first button on the left side allows you to do a spell check to all segments on the page. Similar to this, the first button on the right side allows you to do a spell check to the current segment. The next buttons on the left side allow you to go to the next page with quality assurance warnings, find and replace, view statistics or word count, preview document as HTML and preview document as PDF. The Tools button allows you to choose whether to see all segments or only translatable segments and change font name, size and weight. The Statistics or Word Count show the total word count and the non-translatable word count. You can see the translation memory matching separated into in-context exact matches, leverage matches, which is the equivalent of 100% matches, and fuzzy matches. You can also see a group of internal matches, repetitions and fuzzy repetitions. These are segments that can be found in the source document and are similar. The last part is the progress bar. It counts the words that have been translated, the words that need to be translated, and the words that need to be corrected. You can also see the translated amount in the total progress bar. If you click on the help button, you can see the list of shortcuts. All shortcuts have been kept as close as possible to the shortcuts of the SDL Trados tag editor. If you click the toolbar menu, you will see the explanation of the toolbar icons and toolbar options. The feature menu explains global replace, spell checking, page spell checking, global spell checking, 
quality assurance and many others. You can click on read more to view the full explanation. This also includes a screenshot. The status menu explains the color statuses as well as the letter statuses. The buttons on the right side allow you to do a spell check on the current segment, go to the previous incomplete translation, go to the next incomplete translation, add a comment, show the previous segment with a comment, show the next segment with a comment, centralize this segment, merge with segment above, set or unset as unequivalent, get previous version and get next version. The comments are shown below the source segment. You can also see the person who added the comment and the time it was entered. When translating one of the first or last segments on the page and want to see the context in which to translate the current segment, you can click on the Centralize this segment button and you will be able to see the previous four segments as well as the next five. The Set or Unset as non-equivalent option is meant for segments that in this context or for this particular translation remain the same as the source and these segments should not be saved in the translation memory. The Merge with Segment Above option allows you to merge two segments if needed. However, not all segments can be merged. The segments are separated by either a thick line or a thin line. Only the segments that are separated by a thin line can be merged. The last two options, Get Previous Version and Get Next Version, refer to the feature that allows all versions of the translation to be temporarily saved. They are kept in the memory until the project is finished, when only the final translation will be stored in a translation memory. After you type a translation, you need to change its status from not translated to translated. You can do that by either clicking on the status button and then on a translated option, or by using the shortcut to go to the next segment, Alt plus down arrow. If some segments need to be researched, or you need more time to think about a translation, or if you want to come back